Equinox energy meets our new moon in Aries and Pluto and Mars are on the move. Our new moon a week is set for change, transformation and the fresh new beginning we are all ready for. Today in the Magic Circle I'm going to be sharing with you all about that energy playing out plus my top three magic moves to make this new moon week to harness that energy and then we're going to deepen all of that with the Gaia Oracle just giving us a little reflection how we can play in the magical playground. So welcome to the Magic Circle. If you're joining me again what a delight to see you here with me and the magic. If you're new Welcome, I'm Deb D. I am an author, spiritual teacher and grief guide specialising in the transformation of big life loss to big life magic and actually all the magic in every stage or phase of your life. So if you're here again or joining for the first time, I would love you to come on back. So just, you know, you can hit that subscribe button and then we can stay in the magic together. Four. There's more coming up always in the Big Life Magic community and I would love to see you here. Now as a magic weaver, one of the things I'm always tapping into is what's happening up there? Because as above, so below. We are in tune with all of the energy of the universe all the time, whether you're conscious of it or not. And when we do bring our consciousness into play with that magical energy, that's when we can really tap into fun manifestations and like this week, some amazing opportunities playing out for brand new chapters, fresh beginning, let's go. So I'm now gonna, I'm just now gonna give you like this overview, what's happening up there? Then we'll go into the magic moves, then we'll play with the cards. So magic makers, what is happening up there? We have a new moon meeting equinox energy. So equinox is time of change, the seasons are changing. If you're in the north, spring is on its way. Down south, you're hitting your autumn fall. But wherever you are on the globe, there is a change. And this is the marker of that change. Now this equinox energy is meeting this new moon energy and new moon is about new intentions, new lunar cycle, new beginning, but wait, there's more. Not only is it equinox new moon, it's also the Aries new moon. And Aries is the first in all of the astro signs. So for the astrological year, happy new year and there's even more. This Aries new moon is at Aries zero degrees. You cannot get more new than that. So we start the week with this equinox and new moon energy and then as we move through the week, Mars and Pluto are on the move. Whew. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. And this new moon week, Pluto is on the move out of Capricorn and into Aquarius. Big move. Pluto is all about transformation. Pluto doesn't care if you want to change or not. Pluto is going to say, come on, giddy up. We're moving, we're transforming, we're evolving. So when Pluto changes sides, it's a big deal. That's a lot of energy and transformation moving. And then Mars. Mars is also changing signs. Mars has been hanging out in Gemini since August last year, which is a long stay for Mars to stay in a sign. And that energy has been kind of giving us this, um, we're thinking about it, we're thinking about it, we're thinking about it, we're not quite sure what the move is. And now we're moving from Gemini into Cancer with that Mars energy, which means there's another move. So add it up, magic makers. We've got new moon at zero degrees Aries. New, new, new. Equinox change. Pluto on the move. Big move. And Mars also saying, giddy up. We're shifting. So this is the week. 
that is actually, whoo, breathe it in, the new beginning week of 2023. So the magic that you harness this week is going to make all the difference, not only now, but as you play out the rest of your magic throughout this year and also a little bit beyond it too, magic makers. So let's harness that energy now. Here is the Deb D top three magic moves that you want to make now with this energy this week harnessing this moon. Magic move number one. Give yourself full permission to change, transform and begin again. And the reason I say this is working with magic makers and people transforming their loss to their magic or people wanting to tap into a new phase in their life, what I notice in energy patterns is people want it, but then they're not quite sure. Or they want it and they're waiting for something else to set up before they'll actually shift. They want it and they don't do anything about it. This is an energy pattern which is like, I call it the beating more than one drum. Manifestation doesn't work if you're beating more than one drum. You just want to beat one drum and set that rhythm. And this week, you don't have to figure it all out with this new moon, but you are highly advised, Magic Maker. Give yourself full permission. You don't wait for anything. You don't need to set this up before. Just breathe into whatever you want to be new in your life, whatever fat chapter or phase you want to move into, give yourself full permission. I unapologetically want that. That is the drum I'm beating towards and I'm moving in that direction. Because then you will be met by the universe there. Absolutely. You take one step, the universe takes a whole heap and the dance begins. Moving with that drum beat, one drum. Giving yourself full permission to change, transform and begin now. Mm -hmm. We begin there, but then we move to magic move number two. As this is the new moon in Aries, what you can actually do with your intention is set intention for what's happening for me now in this early phase of this new beginning, which is Aries energy. And you could look at the bigger picture for it's the astrological new year, which means you can actually set in motion now your imagination and dreaming into what is that bigger manifestation that you want that's gonna take about a year. Because the universe is always helping us out. We start with Aries, which is this energy of like me, what do I want? Tapping into your fire, tapping into your warrior. And then next new moon, we move into Taurus. How am I going to ground that energy? What is practical? How am I going to take care of myself in this? And then we move into Gemini. I need to start communicating about this. And on and on and on, we move through the astrological signs. Each new moon is moving you along. So you can use this new moon as I'm going to actually look at now and the year to come. And what do you see if you look that far, Magic Maker? Because this is also what I know in my work, in my own experience and also working with a whole heap of Magic Makers around the world is it takes about a year. Real transformation and change in your life takes about a year. It doesn't mean that you're not going to see anything happen within that year, but the fullness of the transformation and change takes about a year. So start now with this Aries new moon. I'm going to be doing this for myself. I'm going to be following along. You can follow with me. Subscribe, come back to the magic circle, meet me for Taurus new moon and some magic moves and let's travel together through the year because I know you want something and I want you to get it. Okay, now here it is, magic move number three. This is a doozy. When this one dropped in, when I was like intuitively checking in with this energy of this new moon equinox, all the planets on the move week, this one went, whoa, hello. When planets change signs, there's a lot of amplified energy and we've got 
these two planets changing signs. When we hit equinox, that's some amplified energy. A new moon in the Aries, zero degrees, beginning of the astro year, amplified energy. And also the other thing to know about this energy as above is there's a lot happening in Aries, which means there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire and passion, which means the energy is gonna be quite electric or fiery, sparkly. And the magic move here with all of that energy coming is to channel it with courage rather than rage. So particularly with Pluto and Mars, they can get a little bit snarky or cranky when there's a lot of energy there if it's not channeled in a productive or higher vibration way. You don't wanna to go to those lower vibes. So let's think about courage. Courage is cur rage. Look, the rage is in there, but it's got the cur. And what's the cur? Cur is the Latin word for heart. So here's the magic move. With all of this new energy coming out and potentially some energy of frustration or rage or um, like maybe you didn't get what you wanted in the last phase and you're upset it's ending or you're feeling impatient towards what you want to happen or someone's not listening, whatever it is, whatever that energy is for you, rather than moving towards the rage, add the heart. Add the courage, tap into what's the courageous move for me, which is around your new moon intention, like what are you moving forward for yourself? But also it's about this heart magic, tuning into the heart energy now. How can I channel this passion, or if it is rage, how can I channel this rage through my heart in order for it to drive me, direct me, towards something that's actually more productive for me and my energy. So tapping into courage now, not rage. Don't go raging into this new year and this new moon. Bit of heart breathing, magic makers. For it is a marathon, not a sprint. You wanna be working your energy through this big changing week and into all the weeks to come as you shift closer and closer and closer and you're there, your own big life magic. So there's my magic moves for this new moon. You're gonna to want to give yourself full permission. You can have the change, transformation and new beginning now. Maybe you wanna look at the bigger picture of that and tune in with the Astro New Year. You could play there in the magical playground and please magic makers for your good and everybody else's highest good around you. Do not rage now, choose courage, which means the passion that is in you, channel that through your heart and see where your heart leads you. I mean, the energy is big, huh? And it's exciting and there's more. Let's now ask the Gaia Oracle cards. There's a lot of change, transformation, new beginnings. There's a lot of energy here. What is in our highest good to know as the top note? So Magic Makers, I'm gonna ask the top note and then the underbelly note. So we're gonna pull two cards. I'm gonna ask first, what is the top note? Gaia Oracle, please share with us a clear reflection of the top note of this amazing week of transformation with our new moon and all the other moves in the sky. What is our top note? What do we get? Sacred journey, hey, there you go. Sacred journey, now sacred journey here, it's all about being with the evolution and the transformation. So this is the Pluto. This is absolutely what I was talking about with that channeling the the rage into courage and sacred journey is that magic move number two because when we're working with the universe with these energies we actually move into our, our own sacred journey like there is a grand plan for all of us and for the universe and like the collective but I want you to know this that as above that's only half the picture. We complete the picture. 
by saying yes, by tuning in, finding the yes and with the universal energies. So stepping into your sacred journey, allow yourself to actually transform and change. Be in that unapologetic, I'm just gonna give myself full permission and channel it through the heart so that you are connected to the sacred within you and the universe. What's happening now, Magic Makers, is not just about now. It is leading you towards and inviting you into a much bigger picture and transformation to you. So see that big in you. Big life magic. You are the magic. So that's the top note, is an invitation into the sacred journey. Yes, please, I'm here for it. But now we're going to ask the Guy Oracle cards, what's the underbelly here? What's maybe not so obvious or um, going to take a few breaths to tap into energy that's also available to us? I can feel the cards already ready, so I'm just going to go for it. What is the underbelly of this new moon week? Eternal dance. Yep, eternal dance. This card is all about, don't you go and get too rigid, my friends. What you want to do is figure out where is the flow and how can you dance with this energy that it's coming now. This is also speaking about that rage, that frustration, that fire that's coming out. If we can't find the dance moves and the flow with that, it will come out. You will say that inappropriate thing. You will start that fight. You will like quit something when maybe you should have held on a little bit longer. So eternal dance is actually saying, move it down now all the way through to the ends of the limbs, my friend. Go on that walk, literally put on some music and dance it out and be mindful that you don't wanna to become too rigid now. So when you're setting your intentions and thinking about that bigger picture of the year, beautiful, you have a preference, not an attachment. You are saying yes and to the universe. You're at play. You're not deciding and then demanding that it happens. You're not creating these strong, strong, strong restrictions and boundaries and I've got rules, universe. Uh, 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 it's not going to work for you. You want to be dancing through. This is the underbelly of it. Don't try to control now. Imagine trying to control fire. Just imagine it. You're just going to get burned, right? You just have to let fire do its thing and fire itself dances right so dance into your beautiful new beginning for this Aries new moon for you are on a sacred journey and you are the magic and you can say yes and to the universe because it's all possible once we step into let's play universe it's time to transform and change all of that coming up and there's always going to be more i'm going to be back with more for you in our full moon we're going to be looking at that energy but we're not quite there yet to help you out with this new moon equinox energy you're going to want to tap into the equinox fresh beginning meditation that i have recorded for you so you can tune into your sacred journey and dance with the universe. Always a pleasure to be your magical guide. My friends, I have enjoyed being with you in the magic circle. Please come back, share time with me again, comment, like, share, subscribe, do all of those magic moves so that we can hang out together next time in the magic circle. And before I leave, I just want to let you know, if you feel like you're getting lost along the way, Breathe in, magic maker, and remember, it's you, my friend. It is you that is the magic. Big love.